hey guys there are multiple types of exceptions right exception null reference exception io exception so everything we should learn not everything at least the important ones now um, in this video we'll be focusing on system exception okay so what is this and um, everybody knows about it but i have a question let me see how many of you can answer this let's say look at this um, image so here there is a try catch block and i have a click activity let's say okay and there are multiple different exceptions let's say um, this is the system dot exception null reference exception io exception argument exception invalid operation exception business rule exception selector not found exception so these are so many multiple different exceptions are there now let's say the snipping tool uh, the click activity is actually pointing to the snipping tool new button if this tool itself is closed and i'm going to run it right if i run it which will by default which which exception will be run is it going to run exception is it system dot exception or is it going to use null reference exception what exactly or input output exception so what which exception will be exactly run you must know okay first of all what you do i have created a blank sequence we need to un our understanding is important as i always focus right our conceptual understanding is important not the answers the answers anyways will become correct if you know things now let's say this is the click activity and there's a new button and i am going to debug this so what is that exact exception type we need to make a note okay which is that exact exception type so look at it so now this is going to execute and remember while before you try to execute uh, start executing um, one thing we can do is we can reduce that time okay by default it will be uh, you know 30 30 seconds uh, as per the project settings so here i have put it as one second so within one second it should run quickly okay so that we can see the output rather than waiting for 30 seconds time out is one 1000 milliseconds or one second so see it is going to immediately throw an exception look at it okay uh, now you need to because i am doing a debug hit on continue if you run it it will throw any us an error continue so this is how you should read okay one by one i'll i'll, I'll come up with more examples um, so i hit on continue what happened okay now look at it so this is the exact error and what you do take a screenshot of this error and put it down now paint okay so here i have put it in a paint so that i can refer it back in back and forth while i'm studying okay so let me click on okay now let's read the exception what the exception type is saying the source the source of this exception is coming from the click button okay what is the message no open windows found for snipping tool.exe please check if the application is running okay that means the snipping tool is running or not it's asking you it's giving you a message which you can fetch by writing error exception dot uh, message i am going to show you all that okay exception type ui path dot core dot selector not found exception this is important what is that ui path dot core dot selector not found exception now how do you really set it i am going to tell you let's go back to the studio i have created another sequence where i am using a try catch block and i have put the click activity within the try block okay now here just to give you a hint of what are different kind of exception i have listed out everything so selector not found is the right one as per the uh, image that we saw uipath.core.selector not found exception this is the proper one so let me first show you the difference let's say i am not going to have this okay let me delete this I sometimes find difficult in clicking on this and that doesn't really work delete okay so the this is gone okay now if that exact exception is not there remember if there is an application specific exception is coming all kind of exception can be caught by the system dot exception okay system dot exception can catch all different kind of application specific exceptions okay not the business rule exception but application specific exceptions can be caught by the exception this is the parent one which can catch any kind of application specific uh, exceptions so if i run this you will see here i have put two message boxes writing exception dot message to show what is that exact message uh, this is the variable okay exception variable 
and I have written exception dot source. It will tell you mean tell me the from which package uh, that error is coming from. What is the source of that error? Okay, so you can see the exception got executed because I did not add a proper one. So if let's just imagine the, if this kind of a tricky questions would come, you would need to see you know what is mentioned, what is the exact question asked. If the exact uh, exception is not mentioned, then what is going to execute? Ex System dot exception is going to execute. If the exact like selector not found is already mentioned in the cat section, then that is going to execute, not this one. So this time you see system dot exception got executed. If I click on OK, you saw the message. And the exception dot source, it is going to tell me it is coming from UiPath dot UI automation dot activity. So it is coming from. So what what got executed? System dot exception got executed. But if I am going to add that exact one, okay, what is the exact one? Hit on add new cache click on browse for types and let's type that so that's why i asked you to have this message so that you can refer it uipath.co.selector.form so uipath.co.selector not found exception so this is the one select and click on ok so now in this one okay in this one i'm going to simply put a message box just to see if the execution is coming to this one or not okay and here I'm saying selector not found exception block is running. Okay, so I'm putting this. So if the exception comes, it, this one will be executed. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the condition remains the same. Snipping tool is not open on my system, so it's going to throw an exception. And last time system dot exception block executed. This time because the appropriate one is there, it is always going to run the appropriate one. Okay, this understanding has to be there. Okay, you see which one got executed? Selector not found. You got it right. So this understanding is required. I am also going to give more examples on the other set of exceptions. And there are Microsoft.NET reference documents also. I am going to I can also take you there. But uh, so this is the first one. System dot exception. Let's move on to our next topic, guys. Thank you.